Hello, everybody. Boy, I feel like I hit the jackpot yesterday. Oh. Okay, Thrifting Hokey here. And I went to my local little thrift store that uh, I really like. I feel like they are mostly overpriced, though. But I did get some unbelievable bargains yesterday. Just incredible. Um, my camera keeps going like blue. Maybe it's my eyes. I don't know. But, <laughs> thrifting hokey. Now, I am a hokey. I am a Virginia Tech fan. Love my hokey. So, I scored two things yesterday with Virginia Tech on them. One, um, I'll post, but I'll put a picture of both of them. One is, um, uh, just a regular like dress shirt with a collar polo shirt I think is what it is and it's got the Virginia Tech logo it's, it's the burgundy maroon hokey maroon with the dark gray sides really a sharp sharp looking shirt the uh, coaches wore this on the sidelines um, I know I've seen Bud Foster in it so that tells you it's, it's at least a couple years old the other thing I scored for Virginia Tech, um, and I may sell the shirt, I don't know, we'll see. But the other shirt that I, the other thing that I scored with Virginia Tech, they listed as a toy on the, um, the receipt, but it's, and I guess it is a toy. <laughs> it's a magnetic, um, dart game that you put up on your wall and you just throw the darts at it and they're magnetic and the thing is magnetized I guess and I picked that up actually for my boyfriend for his office I paid like three fifty dollars for it it's missing a little knob at the top it's like a curtain rod knob that holds it together um, it's just missing a little knob on the end and I may actually have it in here I didn't notice it when I saw it so I don't really know for sure but what stopped me in my tracks when I first walked in when you first walk in there's two big racks of um, long racks um, of clothing for men and someone had put a Dan Marino starter jersey authentic jersey at the end I grabbed it I just grabbed it started looking through because I saw a bunch of other what looked like Patriots jerseys and when I got to them they were Patriots jerseys, but evidently there's a local high school team with Patriots and it was some guy's name on the back. So that was a little disappointing. So by then I, I found a cart and um, was able to put that Merino jersey in the cart. Looked at it. It was starter, authentic, the old starter label in the back. Uh, didn't notice at the time, but it was a 1998 starter jersey a large and I don't know I'm trying to figure out right now I'll do some more searching today if it's a if it is a child's child's is a large and the adults I thought had numbers this one may be a child's but I mean a large and a child's is a small and a women's so I'm I'm very tickled with it I mean the comps on it there's all kinds of them depends on where the starter logo is on the sleeves. Does it have the dolphins in the chest part? Mine doesn't. Um, but anywhere, they're anywhere from $35 to $40. And I'll take that. I paid $3 for that jersey. <laughs> paid $3 for the tech. No, I paid $4 for the tech because it had a collar. Anyways, um, I also paid $3. And this is just blows my mind. For a Bryce Harper Washington Nationals black limited edition jersey. I can't find comps on it. It's a um, majestic, majestic, I think. Uh, it's got authentic, the authentic tag down the bottom right hand corner, and it says limited edition. Holy cow. I can't find comps on it. I can't. The front of it says Washington. It says Washington in um, the sewn on uh, embroidered uh, letters. And I can find a white one that says 
excuse me, yeah, white one that says Washington in the red letters, but on the back it's just got the double zero and uh, the nationals for the nameplate. But this one's got Bryce Harper's number, I think it's 34, and it's got the uh, his name on it, Harper. So, uh, and the curly W on the sleeves in that, in that creamy color, um, as the Washington's in a creamy color. It's just a sharp looking jersey. Very nice. I think I found my niche. <laughs> I know sports. I know sports. Um, I can sell sports. Um, yeah, I know it. So, I also picked up a uh, cute, stinking cute tie that's got Charlie Brown. Uh, you, you know this, the, the, the show where the Charlie Brown and Lucy and the baseball and she, it's just, uh, is it the baseball? It is baseball. Anyway, she does something. He lands on his back. So anyway, um, no, that's football where he lands on his back. Well, this one's cute anyway because it's got, it's double cute because it has Snoopy on it and Tweety Bird and Charlie Brown and it's just adorable. Picked it up for $2. <laughs> I'm I mean, it's just so cute. My thinking, honestly, is I think it would sell anyway, but right now if people can't get to games, and it's not affiliated with any teams. It's just baseball. But people can't get the game. So this would be a tie that they would wear. You know, if they couldn't get to the game, it's kind of my thinking. And I've got some old baseball cards that I don't think are worth much. And I might just kind of bundle those together. So I picked up some other things. But those, I think, were my big scores. Um, I picked up some Farber wear, Revere wear, both. Revere wear and the Farber wear. Um, Pay two dollars for each pot. The pots are going for. Uh, I've got. I got a. I got a two quart, and two two quarts and one three quart. I paid between. I paid two dollars each for those, and I got a Farber wear. Farber wear for two dollars. Um, I think she actually charged me four dollars because she put two at two dollars, and I did not get two, so I'm gonna have to price that accordingly. And that's going for thirty-five dollars. So I I didn't do too bad last night. Um, very very excited. I uh, think after if I price them with the comps, and this doesn't include yeah, it does include the the jerseys. Um, I priced everything I bought last night with the comps. Um, and take out for fees and shipping and taxes, I'm looking at around a hundred dollars profit. And I spent sixty well, I spent sixty-two, but I had to go back in there because they um didn't give me my twenty percent off. I had a little coupon that they gave me before when I was walking around the store about a week or so ago they gave me a coupon for 20% off my next purchase of $50 so this one met it and I gave it to her and I didn't didn't think about it because I was so excited with a Harper jersey and um, but when I got to looking at my receipt as we always do when we get to the car I was like wait a minute where's my 20% so I walked back in there so she gave me $12 back in cash so you take that off and I'm down to $50 Spent 50 to make a hundred, excuse me, spent 50 to make 94. Cash in my pocket after taxes, everything else. So I don't think that's bad at all. I know there's a lot of people that are better. Of course, this stuff has to sell. Proof is in the pudding. It has to sell for the prices that I have. That I'm going to list them for. So we'll see. I may list that Harper, Bryce Harper jersey for 75. If I can't find any comps on it, I may list it for 75. And that will push up my in-pocket total. Anyways, y'all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.